Hey guys, today we will be installing Veeam image based backup software on this Dell T110 server. We will be simulating a total drive failure. We will be replacing the installed drives and reconfiguring our RAID 1 setup. And finally, performing a bare metal restore. Right now I'm currently logged into the server and I have an old version of Veeam on the screen. I will be removing this and we will be installing Veeam from the very start. What we need to do next is head on over to Veeam's website and download the latest version. Uh, this works with the Windows desktop and server operating systems. And it's completely free with the exception of a few limitations. Once the download is complete, extract the installation program double click to begin installing. Depending how fast your system is, it can take anywhere from two to five minutes. I will fast forward through my installation because this server is a little bit old. Next step is to create our recovery media. I will insert a USB key now. Veeam will copy all the necessary OS files and storage drivers. Once completed, we will be able to boot from this USB key and restore our entire backup. Next, we need to create a backup job. I will name mine daily. Our backup mode will be the entire computer. Our destination will be local storage. I will select my passport USB drive, which is drive E. Note, this is different than the recovery media we just created. And my destination folder is E, Veeam Backup, Server 2008. And my retention period will be for 30 days. I will set the schedule for daily at 11.30 p.m. There are more options in Veeam, but I will be skipping them over in this video just to keep it short. But if you're interested in seeing an in-depth uh, Veeam video, let me know in the comments below. And now it's time to do a full backup. This server only has USB 2 and it can take several hours, so I'm only going to record part of the backup and just uh, come to this the next day. Well, it's been 11 hours later and the backup completed successfully. I'm going to go ahead and install LibreOffice and do another backup. And before I start the second backup, I'm going to change the desktop color to gray. And the reason for doing this is so we can easily identify which backup we have just restored. All right, let's start our second backup and this one shouldn't take too long. And there we go, just short of seven minutes. All right, let's go into Open Manage and check the uh, status of our drives. Oh no, both our drives have failed. All right, that's not exactly what happens on a real system with a RAID 1 when both drives fail. The, the actual result is a little less dramatic. Uh, your server doesn't boot and your RAID adapter just gives you some cryptic information. That's all. All right, we are still going to replace the uh, drives just because I want this to be as accurate as possible. And uh, I need to show you how to configure the, the RAID adapter to accept the uh, new drives. We are going to be swapping out these green drives from the trays and putting in these blue drives. Be careful with these old drive trays, they can be a little brittle these days. And the server is ready to be powered on at this point. Now we need to get into the RAID adapter and we need to press Control C at this point. We need to select uh, RAID properties and choose Create RAID 1. And under RAID disk we need to select uh, Yes for both drives. Once that is done, we need to select C to create and F3 to confirm. 
and press escape to exit and reboot. Now we need to insert the uh, USB recovery media and select F11 to get into the server boot manager. From here we select our USB key which launches the Veeam recovery process. Normally this step can take several minutes. I've speeded up the process considerably with a little bit of editing. We are going to choose bare metal recovery. We are going to select local storage and we're going to hit the browse button until we locate our backup file. We will be choosing full backup and selecting entire computer to restore to. The restore process can take anywhere from several minutes to several hours depending on the size of your backup. But again, I have speeded up the process through a little bit of editing. The restore is now complete. Let's reboot and see if that was successful. The Windows error recovery message comes up after we do a Veeam restore, but don't let that scare you. The system booted up just fine. I will log into the server now using remote desktop and we can see that there's a dialog box that uh, shows an unexpected shutdown. Again, this is normal after doing a Veeam restore. I will log into Open Manage now and we can check to see if the uh, drive IDs match the blue drives that we just installed. Let's also open up uh, Add Remove Programs and check the software listing to see if we can see LibreOffice there. And no, no sign of it. And this is because the first backup did not include that software. I'm going to jump back to the Veeam recovery process. And this time I'm going to select our second uh, backup job, which was the incremental backup and restore that. I've condensed the uh, restore process down to the very minimal, but it did restore properly. And again, I'm logging through remote desktop and we can see right away that our desktop color is gray. And that's the color we changed it to just before we did the second backup. And if we look on in the control panel, we can see that we have LibreOffice installed and we can see the icon on the desktop as well. So let's launch it and uh, we can see that it actually runs. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching.